Hi, I'm Olivia, and this is a common crab video on the plot of Bud Not Buddy. In this book, Bud Not Buddy, Bud has to face some challenges. But you will see, at the end of the book, Bud gets some luck and ends, and ends up living a great life. Bud has lost his mother when he was six and was put into an adoption center. When he was ten, he was adopted by a family called the Amoses. At first, you would think that they were a nice family, but it only takes a few minutes for the Amos' 12-year-old son to get creative. He beats Bud up so hard and pretends like Bud beat him up. So his parents tell Bud he has to sleep in the shed for the night. So they thought Bud, so they put Bud in the shed, regardless of all the sharp and dangerous things that could hurt him. During the night, he goes and realizes that the windows were taped shut with something in the shed, and the doors were locked shut. He tries to make the best of it, but he can't, and he just can't take it anymore. So he threw himself out the doors, and he can't break them. Then he remembers the windows. He broke it open and escaped. He decided to run away with his friend Bugs. They both thought that they could catch the train to Grand Rapids, when he thought, where he thought his father lived. So they slept through the night, forgetting to wake up early for the train. That was a huge mistake. That caused Bud and Bugs to be separated. The next step on his journey of finding his grandfather was to walk. He only was only about one-fourth of the way when a man in a car pulls up and offers Bud a ride. So Bud hops in, and, dra and the driver drops off Bud and walks to the house and sees the band playing. A woman named Miss Thomas and the van led Bud out to stay for a few nights, trying to convince Bud that Herman E. Colley was not his father, because Bud thought that he was his father. That's why he came to Grand Rapids in the first place. He had thought that Herman was his father because his mother had led him onto something because she had put flyers in his suitcase and he had kept them throughout his life. One day, Bud decides to show everybody a picture of his mom. At that moment, Miss Thomas knows that Herman E. Calloway was not his father, but he was yet his grandfather. He finds out that his daughter had been dead for four years. Then he gets very sad and cries for a very long time. Finally, all good happens. The band decides to get him a recorder. Then as time goes on, they buy him a saxophone. Then they live a great life. The end.